I'm gonna try to match that energy. Yeah. <laughs> He's incredible. I, I saw when you came through, you got a big smile on your face when you saw him. So oh, what yeah. does he do to you emotionally? Oh, well, the, <laughs> Juwan's incredible. Uh, I've loved having him on the roster, especially when he started to play. We have, uh, every time he comes in, give a little uh, 11 personnel is what we do usually is. He's the F, he lines up next to me in the huddle. A little electrocution, shock each other, a little headbutt. Always gives me the burst of energy on third down. Uh, but I, just, I feed off Jawan's energy. He feeds off mine. Um, he definitely always, no matter what the play is, always brings it 100%. And you have guys like that on the team. Uh, it makes it really easy to play football. When did you know this week? When did you know this week Jimmy was good to go? And just what did he show you? Last week. Managing his thumb. <laughs> I was, yeah, we knew he was ready to go the whole week. And yeah, there was no doubts. He came out. I think he had a... And they said he had a really good day throwing, like Monday or Tuesday, and he looked very excited. And you know, Jimmy's happy with the, you know how he's, you know, he was hurt. I, we knew he was going to play on Wednesday. It was easy for us. You guys, on Thursday you were talking about you know, how you guys perform when your backs are up against the wall and mm -hmm. all the different, looking off all the different scenarios you've been in this year. How, how fitting maybe was it? Do you think to win a game like this today to, to clinch a playoff spot for for this team in particular? That wasn't stressful at all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, our game plan was going 17-0, you know, 17-3 half. That was our goal. Um, you know, I, it's just a, it's a testament to this team. I think Jawan hit on the head. You, you never know who's going to make a play. You know, I think we have a we have a defense full of superstars. Um, you know, Nick Bosa is one of one. Uh, you know, we're unfortunately without Trent Williams today, and McKivitt stepped up. I know it started maybe a little bit slow, but he came out and you know he did what he had to do to give us a chance to win. And we have guys all over the field. And, Jimmy G came out and he threw for 300 plus yards. You know, that's what we needed him to do today. He did it. Um, Debo, Ayuk, Jawan, um, Elijah, our running backs were playing amazing. Um, I mean, everyone, you know, made plays today. Whether it was run game, pass game, special teams, defense, everybody played, you know, played really well. And definitely, like I said, well, game plan was to start 17 to 0, but, uh, you know, we came back and played through it. You guys had that uh, drive in the, in the third quarter, 10 straight runs. Did we really? Yes. Cool. It was a, it was a good, it was a good drive. <laughs> but did you feel, could you sense out there that the momentum was changing with that drive, that you guys were able to sort of exert your will uh, on them? Uh, well, I mean, when we went in, you know, it was 13, it was what, it was 3 to 17. You felt good at halftime getting the ball back. And was that the drive that we had 10 straight runs? The one after that. It was one after that. So we scored, it was yes. 10, it was 10, 17. Right. Yep. Uh, I mean, it was definitely different. I mean, the first quarter they came out hot. Uh, you know, they made a bunch of plays. Uh, definitely, you know, we were we were in a bad shape, and you know, we just went, uh, you know, what we're really good at, running the ball and then getting the ball to our best players. And uh, you know, I think that's what we did. Um, you know, I think our fans had like 60% of the stadium. It felt like, uh, you know, we could definitely feel their energy, but you could just, you know, defense made some stops, and then we just kept making plays on offense. You know, that's what football is. And our, I think our special teams did really well. You know, shout out to use check for holding. That's very stressful. I'm glad that he's the backup guy. Um, I think he handled that really well. But uh, yeah, I think the definitely the momentum uh, shifted. I will give you that. Kyle didn't say he didn't have to say much to you guys at halftime. Did you guys say anything to each other at halftime? Uh, you know, Fred broke us down. Uh, Fred's always very inspirational. You can feel his emotion in every word that he speaks, whether it's pregame, whether it's a halftime. You can always feel it. Um, he just said, "Hey, we got 30 minutes empty the tank. What else?" You know, the, there's no guarantees next week. You know, we have to win this game, or otherwise we're going to be going home. So might as well empty the tank and have some fun with it. And that's what we did. Kyle said that you know Jimmy's usually at his best after he you know makes a pick or a bad play. Why do you think that is? Why do you think he bounces back like that so well? He's a really good football player. I mean, you you have to be a good football player to come back from bad plays. And I mean, I haven't seen him yet. I mean, I don't know whose fault they were. I mean, every every interception is not the quarterback's fault, but um, you know, that's Jimmy. He's a good football player. He knows how to bounce back. He doesn't let things snowball, and he just flushes and goes on to the next play because he's got that quick release, he's got the nice jawline, and he knows how to make plays. You get, I can't help myself. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you, were, you, were down, you were down getting the ball back with 127 left in the game. Mm -hmm. Knowing your season online, you lose, you're, you're, you're done. Any different kind of emotions in the huddle? Any kind of words being discussed at that point? Got nothing. Man. Last game of the season. Can't hold anything back now. <laughs> and that throw we made, Jimmy made, the, the Debo. I don't know what they were. You were blocking or, or, or I have no clue. Yeah. There were a lot of plays. Yeah. I was pretty exhausted. Did you put down the right side? Sure. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you think about that, though? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably blocking or a chip yeah. flat. I was yeah, I doing something. Yeah. Um, I mean, 
I don't know, when Debo has the ball in his hand, has a chance to you know, be an incredible football play. Um, you know, every time he touches the ball, it can be a touchdown, it can be 40 yards. And he can do it all. So that's just, it's fun. Whenever we get, you know, whenever I hear a play, it's for Debo and I get a block for him, I'm always excited because I can have an awesome block on a play where he takes the whole 40 yards. And, that always excites me. Okay. Knowing you were down 17. Oh, that was cool, too. Are you was that what you were talking about? No, no, I was talking about Jimmy's throw. To, to oh, That's Jimmy's throw. But Debo's throw, was that Debo? He threw yeah. that, right? That was pretty nice, too. Last one, guys. Last one. George, uh, yes, Sean, sir. Sean McVay joined the celebration in the end zone when they went up 17 to nothing. Nice. Did Good for him. Okay. I you got his I, cardio in? I was going to ask if that was noticed or discussed by you guys. No, I was told on the way in here that you're going to ask me that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're setting me up for that. No, uh, actually, my favorite thing was, was I'll just give you guys this because it was fun. Apparently, I used a body bag quote that you know they, they used in their locker room this entire week. And I was saying it was for both sides of the ball. You know, whoever it is, Rams or Niners, <clears throat> someone's leaving in a body bag. And, we go down 17-0, to zero and I had five guys chirping me in the air that, hey, you guys are putting you in a body bag kill. And I was like, a lot of time up on that clock, boys. And uh, hopefully uh, I can see them again because uh, that was a fun body bag game. <laughs>